morning also to our live stream companions today. Are there any Phillies fans in the house? <laughs> well, some of you may know then that two weeks ago, Michael Machado had his MLB debut as a starter, and he won. Yesterday, Tyler Phillips had his MLB debut as a starter, and he won. Today, I had my SJC debut <laughs> as a celebrant at Mass, and we'll see what happens, okay? I do want to offer a little shout out to present and past members of Our Lady of Charity Church in Brookhaven. I was there from 1980 to 1983. Wonderful community, so I know some folks have joined us over here, so all you charity people, we're happy to have you here as well. So not yesterday, but last Saturday, I was sitting on the porch in Seattle City, watching about 10 o'clock in the morning, up and down the street, everybody who had to go home packing up their cars and their SUVs and their trailers. Now, after one week's vacation, it was amazing how much stuff they still had to put into their car to get home. Been there, huh? Well, for just a moment, think in yourself, you're going back to your house. Even if your living quarters are reasonably neat, how much junk do you have in the attic or in the basement? in the garage. How many things are in your car that you might use once in a while, but not too often? We got a lot of stuff. We're piled up sometimes with our material possessions. Imagine after 24 years at St. Elizabeth's Church, okay, I was trying to clean out all that junk to come here to St. John Chrysostom. What a mess. Why do we need all this stuff? In contrast to our ordinary lifestyle, Jesus in the gospel says to those first disciples, when you go out on a mission in the world, travel light. Don't bring a lot of stuff. How can you do that? Our ability to travel without a lot of worldly possessions is directly connected with the depth of our faith and reliance upon God. If we rely on ourselves, we've got to take care of things to provide. We rely upon God we can trust that he will provide what we need. Listen closely to that second reading from St. Paul. He said, you and I who are baptized into Jesus Christ have been enriched with many spiritual blessings. We've really been filled up in our minds and hearts with a power and a grace and an energy because of our faith in Jesus Christ. We are alive in him, chosen by God specially for this life to be his witnesses and for the next life to live forever. When our physical materials are limited, our spiritual blessings are still full. So our minds and hearts can be alive with those spiritual blessings, regardless of how much we have to worry about in our material cares. But what I'd like you to do today is this. When you go home, just take a look around. Ask yourself how many things you have that you don't really need, and that continue to add to your worry and concern. What can you let go of in your material possessions in order to walk through life a little more lightly? Your mind and your heart filled up with the spiritual blessings of God. It took me four months to clear out 24 years of stuff in St. Elizabeth. Why did I keep it all when I had God in Jesus Christ? What are you keeping that you need to let go of and make room in your heart? for Jesus Christ.